What was supposed to be a day of oral arguments in the Supreme Court turned out to be a six-hour long wait for the media because the SC decided to meet privately with the government's resource persons, Defense Secretary Delfin Lorenzana and Military Chief Eduardo Año. The Supreme Court doesn't want to call this an executive session, but it's a proceeding that is done out of the public eye. Aside from the justices, Lorenzan and Año, Solicitor General Jose Calida, and one of the petitioners, Albay Representative Ed Lagman, are in the meeting. Uh, there was PowerPoint presentation, uh, there were uh, materials given, and uh, they answered questions from the justices. It's uh, <clears throat> different. Uh, this is the uh, secret documents. All three groups of petitioners were supposed to join the meeting, but only Lagman was able to join the presentation with security officials. I think that was the call of the Honorable Supreme Court. Sana, a, it was uh, made in a uh, public, uh, but uh, the presentation and both the question and answer. But I would defer to the wise judgment of the Honorable Court. But other petitioners remain skeptical about the decision. Pero kung malaman namin na hindi naman pala pang executive session yung information, that is para sa akin unfair sa ano sa petitioners lalo na kung katulad namin na exclude kami sa sa meeting ngayon Marawi group lawyer Marlon Manuel says he considers it a positive thing that the Supreme Court even called the security officials to court given that Kalida wanted the proof of burden to be on them and not the government Lagman refuses to say whether there was something in the presentation of Lorenzan and Año, which raises questions about Marshal Law in Mindanao. The only thing left to do now is wait for the highest court of the land to explain it all in due time. The Supreme Court is set to issue its decision in early July. Lian Juan, Rappler, Manila.